See he's everything. awful, bro. Like, he's so bad. Like, no footballing manager would, one, make him the captain and, two, play him every week. And this is how you know Oy. that Ten Hag is absolutely finito because his whole That's legacy narrative as this now, manager bro. will mm. be Bruno Fernandes as the captain, bro. That's your legacy. Because as soon as you gave Bruno the armband, I always say Bruno, Bruno's the litmus, the litmus test, bro. What a manager does very with Bruno manager. shows me very much what kind of football they're trying to play because he's uh, anti-football, bro. So we don't know, bro. Like I said, this manager, he's coming with his Kobe Milo. And even though, as much as I rate Kobe Milo, he don't have the people... He's not as athletic as people think he is, you know? Like, he's not like... I'll be, I'll be real with you. On the ball, amazing. But as off the ball, he's not as quick and mobile as what people think. Bro, he's you know not, I mean? like, man. Like, I'm telling you, he is... At eight, bro, but he's got this laid back kind of like relaxed style yeah. on the ball, you know, like that. He's not the mobile, bro. Man, need players like Fred. I've been saying it, bro. Like, he got so much stick at this football club, but he's got a very, very, very special set of skills here that, yeah, you need in the modern game. His mobility and his tenacity, you need players like that. You need yeah. players like that. Someone in the chat said, Mino's more like a Modric type. 100% in that kind of mode, like they're not explosive, like they're not super like mobile, but they're agile. Do you know what I'm saying? But they're not going to get up yeah, and down yeah. the pitch, but got a little turn footwork wise in terms of stylistically how he plays. Obviously not his ability, not his quality because Luka Modric is an absolutely generational yeah, yeah, footballer. Yeah. But generational. the point is, yeah. people are going to miss profile Kobe Mino, bro. He's not that kind of player, bro. He's got great technical ability. Like he's still getting up to match speed in terms of the pace of the men's game. You can see sometimes he gets caught on his heels a little bit, but he'll learn, bruv. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, this 100%. is just what it is. Yeah, but then, but the thing is, though, you know what I mean? Like, you're, you're burning him out already, bro. Man, this, you know, when you, this is meant to be a fresh car. This is meant mm. to be a fresh player, bro. A mm. man's burning him out already, bro. And I'm like, mm. and that just shows you the, the insecurities of what Ten Hag's trying to do, bro. He's mm. trying to play Casemiro on the as a last man. You know what I mean? Casemiro, I said it on the stream yesterday. Man, like Casemiro's getting bored, man. Man, mm. you know when Casemiro gets bored, he does some wild shit. I'm not justifying yeah, yeah, yeah. it. He gets booked in that. Bro, yeah. He gets booked. He gets flipping. I think it's frustration. I think it's just frustration. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, bro. Because he's meant, bro. When he was playing for Real Madrid. Everything was controlled. Everything mm. was like, yo, like, bro, you had people that were, had quality. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like he's coming here thinking, Bruno's going to hoof the ball. That player's going to do this. Guy, I just probably going to lose it. We got, bro, I'm like, come on, man. And this is why, when you look at here, I still think Casemiro's our best passer in midfield. Did you don't see the two balls that he played in behind? One of them to Bruno, and then one of them, I think he played it to Garnacho. Played it over the ball. He wants to play that ball forward. But yeah, where's no, he can play. Slow in our build up. We're so slow in our build-up. He's just like, yo, man, like, it's just, it's a miscommunication. And this is why I think, for me, we, we've had Casemiro now for, what, a year, two years nearly, and we're still, we've only had him great for six months. The mm. rest of it, I look at it, I'm like, how have we not maximised even Casemiro, bro? I don't buy into the fact that he's still a wash, he's a wash player, and it's like, he's done at the highest level. I don't really buy into that. He's not, but we're, we're killing there, Cass like, got... we killed, like we killed Pogba and we kill everyone else, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't put them in a system, bro. Like, even when I look at Paul Pogba, yeah, bro, Jose Mourinho needs to go to jail for what he done to Paul Pogba, bro. You know what I mean? Bro. Because he, he saw this six foot three African and tried to turn him into John Obi Mikel, bro. Like, Paul Pogba ain't never been a number six, bro. Trying to play this brand of double pivot and all these things. Bro, this guy been wasted. And now we're killing Casemiro as well. This is what this club do, bro. This is why they need to get their house in order, bro. That's why they need to get their house bro. in order. Because they're just killing people, bro. That's what these mm. men have been doing, bro. Like, man come to Man United and they suffer, bro. And too many suffer. good players have suffered at this football club for it to be the players' fault. You know what I'm saying? Like, man seen bare man suffer bro. Here, bro. Like, like man is saying, one matter suffered here under multiple managers. Do you know what I'm saying? Di Maria suffered here. You know what I'm saying? Pogba suffered here. Do you know what I'm saying? Bear man been suffering, bro. Like, Alexis Sanchez just fell off a cliff here. You know, like that, bro. Yeah. It's like you come to Man United and you just fall off a cliff and plunge to your doom, bruv. Like, this is exactly bro. what happened. Like, it can't all be the players' fault. It can't nah, be, bro. nah. It can't be, man. It can't be. And this is why, you know what I mean? Like, people are saying, oh, bring Ross Barkley to my United. But I'm like, yo, we'd ruin Ross, Ross Barkley, bro. Yeah, without Even the right Ross Barkley. 
Yeah, we'd kill him, man. You know what I mean? He's playing well for Luton because he's in the right system. Man's mm. balling out for Luton. But you put him in this Man United team mm. and he's flopping hard. You mm. know what I mean? Let's be honest. Because, and this is the thing for me, yeah, like, that's why it's so key this summer. Ineos, and this is why they've talked about it. I'm glad they said it. They want the right system. They want the right uh, their philosophy. And that has to match with the sporting director. Has to match on every level, isn't it? Like, it has to be a domino effect. And that's why, ultimately, they have to change the manager. I think they will do. Because you can't have a mismatch of a guy pretending to be someone when he isn't and then complaining about injuries every minute. Who wants to hear... A manager complain about injuries every single second, bro. Like, it's, mm. you don't want to work. Bro, I want you to work with the tools you've got here and I want you to get the maximum capability. Other managers are doing that. Why can't you? Do you know, in, 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 what's it called? Um, Unai Emery's got three or four players that have got long-term injuries this season. Mm -hmm. But yet, nobody's talking about that. You know what I mean? Liverpool played with half of their kids on the team, still dominated Chelsea. It's about the manager, bro, what he provides and what he instills in your team. If you don't have that belief yet, then you're not gonna you're not gonna perform, bro. And ultimately, these players now, they're like, you know what? F it in it. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, we're just gonna we're just gonna run around, do whatever, and we look confused and it is what it is. You know, so it's just a mess, bro. Like the whole thing, the whole situation where Ten Hag has brought us from to now, it's been a it's been a mess, bro. And he's relying on certain individuals to carry him, bro. Like mm -hmm. Rashford, it's not working out now. So now that's gone out the window. Garnacho still, it's a young kid. He's still inconsistent. You know, you've got McTominay goals. They'll dry out soon. Bruno assist. I don't think he's had an assist in how long? A goal in how long in the Premier League? So everything is drying out, bro. And ultimately, you know, the manager's now kind of thinking, what do I like? And that should be where the system comes in. The system yep. should be, always be king, bro. It should always mm. be king. Your system should always be king. And it's not. And now he's getting found out big time, bro. Man was looking at the goals, like even for this purple patch for um for Hoyland, yeah, bro. Look at all the goals he yeah, scored. Yeah. None of them true, are well worked team goals. Do you know what I mean? Man nah. scoring goals where the, the other team's passing him the ball more time. Do you know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. There, was, there was a stat saying that the, the um I think his last five goals or something like that weren't even set up by a Man United player or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like these, these booky goals, bruv. Like, like, bro, you need yeah, to yeah. understand what we're actually working with, you know. Like it's it's horrendous right now, and then the manager's not dropping the right players. Like someone put in a stat here, um, a stat saying Bruno's been dribbled past more than any other player in the Premier League, bro. Bruno Fernandez, oh, bruv, Bruno Fernandez. I've been telling you, man, this guy just runs around and gives the illusion that he's actually doing something. He don't win tackles. When's the last what? time? You seen Bruno Fernandez, yeah, run, close down a man and win the ball. He just runs around like a crackhead, bro. That's all he bro. does. He never wins the ball, bro. Like he's not even really defending, bro. All it does is it gets them them guys at the game that don't know what they're watching up off the edge of their seat because at least he tries hard. He just yeah, runs yeah. around. All mm. he does, but bro. It, but, it, but it's 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 a net negative when you're giving the ball away, isn't it? Like he might he might win the ball. And the odd time when he wins the ball. He starts to hoof it. You know mm. what I'm saying, bro? So, end of the day, bro, like, like it's counterproductive, bro. Like, yeah, you win the ball, but he mm. don't he don't want to pass it to the nearest man. He's, that's, he's like, yo, that's not my job done. My job ain't mm. done. My job is now to hoof that ball and make sure I can get on the stat sheet or whatever it is. You know what I mean? He can't play simple. He cannot play simple. That's not in his DNA, bro. And mm. this is why I'm like, yo, man. But, and this is when you bring up things like, oh, we, we can become a better team with... I, I, well, I've said it so many times. I think you said it. We're a better team without Bruno Fernandes or we will be a better team without Bruno Fernandes. But no, we're going to miss the stats. We're going to miss the GA. I'm like, broski, I'm telling you, bro, we will be a better team, bro. Because half of the opportunities that he was hoofing it, yeah, we can actually create something from that. We should mm. actually keep the ball. We could actually recycle possession better. We could actually peg them back in. You know, we actually can defend better as a team because then that means we're not getting caught on the, on, on the transition. There's so mm -hmm. many elements of when you give the ball away like he does. And it's not just giving the ball away. It's where he gives the ball away. Like yesterday, mm. uh, uh, De Bruyne was giving the ball away. But when I see where he was giving the ball away, it was in the final third. So yeah. it wasn't as detrimental because yeah. half of the team is still back. But when you're giving the ball away in the flipping middle of the park and then you get caught on the break, that is so bad. Bro, and it's not just where he gives the ball away, it's how he gives the ball away, bro. 
Yeah, you know I'm saying yeah. because you say that De Bruyne gives the ball away in the final third, but it's a higher percentage pass than some of the passes that Bruno well, tries go. to play. He plays these low percentage passes, bro. Like there was one, I reposted it on Twitter, and it was a mad thing where it was against Fulham. I think Garnacho yeah knocks the ball back. Yeah, to that's bobbling and that, and he just hoofed it, bro. Like just up in the yeah. air, just slapped the ball away. Like there's no one on him. And he's just hoofed it. And it's like, bro, where are you hoofing this ball to? And this is, you'll never see KDB do that. You'll never see him just put his foot through the ball. Like, never. Do you know what I mean? Even if he tries to play a pass that's a low percentage pass, at least he plays it in a way where it looks like he's actually tried to put backspin on the ball or he's tried to put it in a certain place. When Bruno, the ball is Bruno's feet, yeah, you don't even know where he's trying to put it, bro. This bear's going on like he's trying to kick a field goal half the time, bro. He's playing the wrong sport. Like, I just... Floor is lava. Bro, See, he's yeah, awful, bro. Like, he's so bad. Like, no footballing manager would, one, make him the captain and, two, play him every week. And this is how you know Oy. that Ten Hag is absolutely finito because his whole That's legacy as this now, manager bro. will mm. be Bruno Fernandes as the captain, bro. That's your legacy. Because as soon as you gave Bruno the armband... I always say Bruno, Bruno's the litmus, the litmus test, bro. What a manager does with Bruno manager. shows me very much what kind of football they're trying to play because he's uh, anti-football, bro. Yep, hundred percent. So if the next manager comes in and he's still playing Bruno, then I'll have doubts about him. You know what I'm saying? I'll mm. be real with you. Until Bruno Fernandez leaves, I'm gonna have that same question because I don't think Bruno Fernandez is gonna get better. I don't think he's gonna mm. change the way he plays. Like he is who he is. Like I'm not mm. saying that's not right, yeah, but. Um, I'm just I'm just looking at it from a point of view of yo, it don't benefit my United, bro. When he does that, it don't benefit us. Mm. And when people now now the narrative changed, all right, man. Now it's like, well, Bruno's becoming a problem, and you know what I mean. Mm. Why is it the manager's fault? It's not the manager. It's not. It's not on the manager for that. And I'm like, hold on a minute. You just mentioned it there. He's made him captain, and he's made him the face of what he wants to do. Yeah, like he's made him like there's no accountability for him dropping stinkers because he still plays next game. There's no accountability when he when he gives the ball away because he still plays in the position. Like he only put him on the right hand side and then brought him back into the middle because there was no other option. But had they not been, he would have still played Bruno Fernandes there, bro, and tried it and tried it and tried it, mate. Yeah. So I don't buy into this idea that now Bruno Fernandes all of a sudden is it is it a ten hard play? Yeah, he is. That's he he chose it to play there. He mm. knows Ericsson better. He knows Ericsson from his from the Ajax days and what he can do. He could have played yeah. Ericsson there. Come on, man. So end of the day, yeah, when I look at Telag, what he's trying to do, and yeah, he's been forced and and and, and he's been dealt with in a, with with a, with a different dynamic. I'm like, nah, bro. A lot of these decisions have been down to him, bro. No one's telling him to yeah. play Lindelof at left back. Like we didn't we didn't get to the situation where Lindelof plays at left back. You sold. You told regular to go back. You you you, you sold Alvaro Fernandez. And you sold. You know what I mean. You loaned him out. So you didn't need him. When yep. you know how mad, how hard he's kept certain players at the football club. He has made people stay at the football club. Palestri. It's only till now Palestri has left. Mm. Only till now, you know. Before that, he would say to everyone, "You're not going. You're not going." So at the end of the day, bro, you should have analyzed the situation and be like, "Yo, I know Luke Shaw's history record, and I also know." That Malas is out for pretty much the whole season. So you needed at least two left backs to stay at the football club. You needed that to happen more mm. than anyone. So that's not on me. So that's not, we can't, you can't make them excuses, man. You can't, bro. So yeah, man, it's, it's long, man. It's long. It's long. 100%. Um, man, to big up, guys, a little off topic. My bro thinks Klopp is better than Pep. I told him, give Klopp Real, Real squad in the Prem. Still can't do the free this. Hey, bro, listen, we, we know that Klopp's not better than Pep. We know that. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, we don't why? even. Why are we trying this? Like, we, we know that. Do you know what I mean? We don't even need to. Yeah, we don't need to do the hypotheticals, bro. Like, we know this. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We actually know that. Like, even when you compare how many trophies each of them have won, like, it's not even close. Like, yeah, bro. Like I, I'll just say, just don't, don't entertain hypothetical conversations with people, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Them just, things are weird. Credit Guardiola or what he's done, man. You get mm. me? Like I've just got a huge respect for Guardiola, man. The way he's like, you know, what I mean, manage the team, the way he plays. Like, come on, man. Mm. This guy's a, he's a genius, man. He can, he's the only one that can sit on the table with Fergie and them, man, and Ancelotti. Mm. You get me? Like other ones, you could probably say, Mourinho. Did he, did he peak too early? And listen, still massive respect for Mourinho. But mm. Guardiola, these are the kind of, you know, the elite of the elite. So, yeah, man, mm. listen, 
Guardiola different, bro. Different. Yeah, trust me. And yeah, this is Bobby's obsession with keeping players he don't rate. The mad thing is, yeah, that's why when um Ahmad Diallo, not Ahmad, sorry, um obviously he's he's disrespecting Ahmad at the moment, but Remember when we played Forest, yeah, after Alango, bro. Alango was like, yo, mm. this is personal and that. Obviously, the managers told Alango one thing and done exactly the opposite. And that's what he does. He, he done the same thing with Jaden. Told Jaden one thing, done the opposite. Played him false nine for the whole of preseason and then he was on the bench. Like, first game of the season, and then he was playing on the left. It's like, why did you waste the whole preseason playing him false nine to then stick him on yeah. the left wing? Off the bench that's, when that's, the season that's, started, so what? He just what, it? he's wasted it. Like, what was the point? Like, this guy, bro. he's tapped, bro. Like, he's actually tapped, bro. And that's what he does. He uses players. He's got no, he's got no common decency as a human being, bro. Everything is just about himself, bro. Like, he just there's nothing human about him. He's very robotic. He's very dry, yeah. and he and he's so easy to not like, bro. He's yep. so easy to not like. Everything about this manager, yeah, like there's just no human feel about any of it, bro. He just looks like some AI fucking mutant, bro. That's that's what that's what he looks like. But you know what it is, though. The, 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 going back to that comment there, yeah, man. Everyone like the video, people, man. What's going on, man? Four hundred free likes. You might have moved it mad. But so, um, I mean, run that up, no, people, man. Run that up. Yeah, run it up. Run it up. You know, but you know what it is here. My thing is here with with Tom false nine. He knows Rashford ain't a striker, and people mm. go on like Rashford played striker last season. No, he really did it. He played he played the left channel here as a left mm. forward, and Veghorst was in that kind of middle ten false nine kind of role here. But he came off the left and played through central. It's different. You're making mm. different runs. You know what I mean? You don't have to hold up the ball. You just literally run into space. You know what I was mm. there. Whereas actually, you had Sancho there as a as a different method, yeah, and you ditched it, and that's mm. why now all of a sudden people are expecting Forsen to play in the middle. Like Forsen, mm. when he went middle into that middle area, he looked a little bit more tidy than Rashford because Rashford mm. has his head down and actually just runs into people. Yeah, Forsen looks no better on the ball than Rashford, bro. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean. So why do you do that instead? Mm. You know what I mean. At least Forsen, yeah, you know. There's an idea of Tosin that would have been aggressive to him, but he would have just gone to the ball and just said, You know what? I'm going to pick up the ball from these areas here yeah? and I'm just going to play it to people. I'm not even going to do anything mad here, yeah? special. I'm just going to bop it around here, yeah? act as that extra midfielder, and just retain a little bit more possession. That's what I would have done. 